This is part two of two of the Rocky Mountain Fractal tutorial that I am placing on YouTube for everybody to see. And what we're going to do in this is learn how to use the Rocky Mountain Fractal in different ways other than creating mountains. So what we want to do is uh, create a scene, a fairly basic scene. So I have one set up here already. And let me go and show you what I've done. And what we have here is just a basic scene, very basic. Um, it's just a terrain fractal. Uh, I changed the multiplication constant node from 128 to 10. That way I don't want too much detail in the terrain fractal. I kind of want that to be barren and you know smooth and rounded and not a lot of detail in it. Uh, and there's reasons for that. And I also set up a blender node and I changed the blending type to add and there I added a Rocky Mountain Fractal. And I kept the Fractal the same. I didn't change anything in the base settings um, or in the stretch and distortion. I didn't do anything in there. The only thing I changed in this was the optional rocks and I changed that to um, the rock correlation at iteration 5. And then I just raised the roughness and the height until I got what I wanted here. Uh, do keep in mind though, um, here if you play with them here too much, you will get some messed up looking rocks. What you got, what you're gonna want to do is get a good um, get a good feel on the rocks where you know where they come in. You start getting some good detail, getting the rest of your detail in the blender node. Um, I changed the ratio from the terrain fractal to more of the rocky mountains here, and I got some good detail on the rocks coming out here. Um, they're not too high and they're not very rough either. So I've, I got some pretty good uh, details that way and I didn't have to worry about you know making them too rough or they're too tall or you know the height's too big so um, that's a good way to do it that way uh, and also in here I just changed the number of iterations to 9 and I'm not entirely sure if that kind of matters for the optional rocks I mainly did it as kind of like a backup in case because um, the more that iterations there are kind of the more detail and quality there is into the Rocky Mountains um, you can figure that all out if you watch the first tutorial if you didn't know and um, and I just did it kind of like a safety measure I didn't want to render out this entire uh, picture and have it you know not look the way I wanted it and I could do that at a final um, final uh, quality at a lower resolution to render it faster but it was kind of a time constraint, so I just raised it, and it didn't take very long to render anyways. So and then I just changed the subdivision quality to high because there were a few things that I could notice that needed, you know, some um, fixing, and so I changed it to um, high, and then those went away. You'll kind of see these weird formations in the rocks uh, where they kind of go, and they go straight up, and the polygons are all mixed up, and and they're kind of like messed up and stuff like that. So. Um, that's all I changed there and I changed the stretch factor just a little bit and that's about it it wasn't very much and it was very simple so all you do is you change that down to you know whatever fits your needs I changed it to 10 uh, you create you can use these same um, these same measures if you'd like if you're trying to recreate this um, or you can create whatever you want just as long as you get what you want and then um, you can change everything in here if you'd like Next thing you want to do is add a blender node, change the blending type to add because you want to add the rocks on top of the train and not mix them in or anything like that and not blend it. And here you can change these the way you'd like it um, or you don't have to change them at all like I did and then you can just change the rock correlation to something that would fit your needs. And then you can also do stuff in here that would give you a little bit more control like maybe adding a, well, let's see, like a constant dependency node and you can attach that to the Rocky Mountains on the rough areas and in here you can change the ti or the description to um, you know rough areas and you can put it you know you can put rog you can change that to rough if you'd like it doesn't really matter um, that way you have you know this custom dependency node in here and um, next you can you know add a filter on here to bring the rocks out more if that's what you would like 
like a let's see put in a filter here just move that out of the way and you can edit that filter and you can bring that up make it more round bring that up and hit OK and I believe that'll do what we would like it to do eh, not really I did get kind of like a hill side here maybe mountain side and this does look kind of cool so um, here you can see I have the roughness just a bit too high those rocks are sticking pretty much straight up so um, maybe bringing this down would fix it um, but I don't want this so I'm just gonna delete it and you can also do the same thing in the train fractal to get what you'd like when you're not limited to anything at all on this I'm just showing you the basics of what you can do and then after that you just click OK but I'm not going to because I don't want anything to be saved that I might have changed and then you can close it and assuming that you use that custom dependency on the Rocky Mountain Fractal those rough areas would be the uh, rocks and then you can actually add their own material to it and all I did was add a material to this entire scene um, I'll show you what I did I just took views default materials sharp desert rock and I mixed it in with grass and rock and the mixing proportions is I didn't even distribute the material I just kept it like that and I just kept this all the same and then um, it actually turned out pretty good so uh, I probably raised this a little bit um, 0 0.03 which is in much of a change so uh, that way you get a good mixture between the rocks and the grass and rock and you could also distribute it if you like but I, I didn't and then I, all I did was render it out and I was done and uh, with the proper texturing and everything like that you could end up something with really good uh, this is what I came up with and you can see the rock and grass texture right here and the rock and the desert rock is appearing on the rocks themselves so um, this is something that you know it can be used in numerous occasions and I kinda like the way it turned out so uh, depending on what you your needs call for it could be fairly simple to set up or it could be extravagant and it doesn't really matter to me but as long as you know how to do it and know that there's more options in there for you that's that's all that matters to me so um, if you like the video please rate and comment and subscribe if you like and please leave me a critique if you if at all possible if you can find it in your heart to do so and um, other than that uh, enjoy these videos and possibly create something really cool in view uh, if you really liked if you would really like to too if you use the tutorial for you know learning purposes uh, please upload what you did and I can take a look at it. It would be awesome to see what you used that, um, uh, that technique for. Uh, but anyways, have a good day and um, have, have fun creating those tutorials. Or, you know, landscapes, my bad.